Hi there, Linda Goodall here. Yesterday, I installed Windows 10 on my Mac desktop. Now it takes um, something really cool to make me do something like that. And the cool little thing is this Hatch software by Wilcom. So I'm a brand new Hatchling. This is entirely new software for me. And yes, I've been digitizing for 23 some years, but this is entirely different from what I'm used to using. And whenever I try out new software, I want to see if it'll do things that I commonly use. So ultimately, I only want to use one digitizing program because it's a real hassle to have things in different programs because then you have to only edit those designs in that particular program. You can't do part in this program, part in that program, and combine it and expect to be able to edit it. It just doesn't work that way. So one feature I use a lot is to bring in true type fonts as artwork. Hatch will bring in true type fonts, but it auto digitizes them. I'm not a big fan of auto digitizing, and I wanted to be able to use true type fonts to create appliques or something such as this one, or embossed monograms such as this W. This would be like for a towel. And the first thing I tried was to bring in the font and I tried splitting it and changing it into outlines. And that's what happened, because it's in pieces. And then I didn't know how to stick them back together. So after stewing around for a while, I came up with another idea. And I'm going to show you that one right now. So let's create a new document. I'm going to go to the lettering toolbox, click on lettering. I'm going to type in a G. And then I'm going to slide down here to my true type fonts and pick Bookman Old Style Bold. And I'm going to make that 100 millimeters. And there we have our letter. And look, it's got satin stitches on it. It doesn't matter. We're going to change that. So I have my letter selected. Now I'm going to go to Edit Objects. And I'm going to select Create Outlines and Offsets. And I'm going to do a single run around the whole object. And I want to have a zero offset. And I want an offset count of one. I'm going to click OK. And there we have it. Now we have two. I'm not sure why it does that. I'm still new. I'm still figuring things out. So I'm going to delete this guy. I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to leave it as a run. This is going to be my placement stitch. Then I'm going to take my next one, and I'm going to change that to a zigzag. I like a zigzag as a tack down. So I'm going to just um, change some settings here. I'm going to change the spa spacing to 2. And I'm going to leave the width at 2. I'm going to see if there's any underlay. We don't need any underlay, and we don't need any compensation. So there's that. Now I'm going to duplicate this again. And then I'm going to change this to a satin. So I'll go over to satin. I'm going to change the spacing to 0.45. And we don't need auto split, but it's not that wide anyway. So width, we want 3. And let's see what we have for underlay. We don't need any underlay here. We've got this center run here, effectively, which will be covered up with the fabric, just about. And then we have a zigzag here, so that's kind of like underlay. I'm going to change my pull compensation to 0.4. And there we have it. How easy was that? So you can do cool things with the two top fonts if you know how to trick them. I really hate tracing fonts. I mean, they're already there. Why not be able to use them? So here I've taught Hatch, or I let Hatch teach me something, how to make an outline and turn it into something else. So I, I hope you'll find this useful, and thank you for watching.